In this first video, I'm going to go through printing spreadsheets in Microsoft Excel. So you can see that I have a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet here with a range of columns and rows. And what normally happens when you go to print a spreadsheet is you go to File, Print. And you can see that it's not going to print all of my columns. Okay, so it's only managed to go from name to midges score. Go to the home, it's actually only going to print these cells on one page. Now you might want that, but most people want to get all of this onto one page. And so what I'm going to do is in the print settings, file, print. I always do two things to start with. The first thing I'll do is I'll have a look at the spreadsheet and I'll think, right, is it better to print it landscape or portrait? And in this example, because there's more width than height, I'm going to change the page orientation to landscape. You can see already that I've got most of the data now in uh, on one page. However, it's still spread across three pages. So if I click on this, it's simply putting those two values on the second page and it's putting those three columns on the third. So the next thing that I do is I go to page setup. And what I do here is I change the margins to the lowest possible on the left. Always leave a little bit here. Uh, in case you've got printer settings that put a margin on. And I always change the ones at the top as well, just in case, just to give me more room on the page, and then press OK. Now you can see in this example that it's all actually fit on one page, one of one. Now that's fine, but what if you have a page or a range of columns that extend outside that? So even once I've changed the orientation and the margins, what if I've still got columns going on to another page. Here's what I mean. So if I've got more columns, let's say here, and now I go to file print, you see that those two solutions alone, the page orientation and the changing margins, does not solve this problem. It still spreads across two pages. So once I've done those two things, the final thing I do is go to page setup, and I click on this on the page tab here, I click on fit to one. So it's fitting one page wide by one page tall. So this will put everything on one page and it will scale all of the spreadsheet or all of the cells that I want to print uh, to fit on that one page. So I press OK. And you can see that it's all fit on one page there. Another thing that I might want to do, and then I would press print and it would print that out on one page. Another thing that I might want to do is I might only want to print um, certain things or a certain part of this spreadsheet. So for example, I might only want to print these. So what I can do is I can select these columns, go to page layout, print area, and set the print area. And what that will do, if I go to file print now, it will only print those columns. Okay, so that's very useful if you only want to print certain parts of the spreadsheet. So what we've covered there is printing spreadsheets in Microsoft Excel 2010.